Okay, so we're beginning work now on the fuselage. We've temporarily put in place a few pieces, but we need to start at, uh, putting in each of the bulkheads and then the floors and the inner structure so that we start to see the T-51 Mustang take shape. Now, each of the positions here is considered something called a station. And so the bulkhead on the T-51 Mustang is called station two. The next station back is three, four, five, goes all the way back to 14 at the tail. And so we're gonna be doing work right now on one of the most important stations on the aircraft, which is station number three. Station number three is where a lot of very important uh, structural components get attached, including the rudder pedals and other uh, things that will form moving forward from that part for the forward baggage compartment leading to the firewall. And um, so some of the pieces come uh, preformed from the factory. This is a piece that's going to go in there and form the wall of the station three bulkhead. And it has some, uh, uh, cuts in it that are the locations where tubes actually need clearance and uh, in this uh, aircraft uh, uh, we have to go and enlarge in those to make room and so a lot of parts along the build need a little bit of refinement before they're able to fit so let's get started Okay, so now we've finished what is probably our first truly complex part of this aircraft structure on the T-51D Mustang. And it's this double-walled station number three bulkhead. A little complicated because we had a lot of different things we needed to accomplish. We needed to be able to use both hat sections and U-channels to allow us to sandwich this welded structure of the aircraft and provide a wall on the front and the back, be able to Clico and create a solid structure out of that, and also provide reinforcements so that we could put the rudder pedal connections in place. And that's what this center uh, channel is right here. And with only a few Clicos in place to hold this structure, we're already seeing how this very flimsy sheet metal can get rock solid with the structure in place just by being locked together in this type of a matrix. So very, very exciting to see all of this uh, come together. And really, it gives us this foundation to now work backwards from. The last thing, if you look along this side, you have this flange, which is really what the skin attaches to on the flange. And we're getting that in place so that as we go from the firewall back, we'll be able to stay, uh, begin to lay our skin into place. And that also, of course, makes the airplane really start to come to life. So with that, again, uh, when you get a chance, check out Social Flight, the Social Flight mobile app and socialflight.com. Look at the tens of thousands of places to fly and things to do. It is all free. If you play Fly to Win, you could even win from tens of thousands of dollars of prizes. And if you subscribe to our YouTube channel and comment, you may also win one of our T51D t-shirts that we're sending out to tons of our viewers. So again, thank you so much for joining us. My name is Jeff Simon from Social Flight Blue Skies.